All right, we're streaming live. Good evening, uh, Facebook world. Good evening, whoever's listening to me right now and Ward Wrestling Live. I appreciate everybody out there right now. We've got a late one because we are talking with a uh, Commonwealth bronze medalist, New Zealand Junior Olympic, now professional wrestler from Nelson, New Zealand. She's been wrestling for 20 years. Uh, she's been coaching now the last seven or eight years. Uh, she's a two-time Commonwealth Games qualifier. And she took bronze, which is the first New Zealand wrestler and first New Zealand woman to medal in, in the Commonwealth Games, which if you're not familiar, is a very big thing around our, around our world here. And uh, we're blessed and lucky to have, uh, have her on here with us on Ward Wrestling Live to talk a little bit of wrestling. So how are you, uh, Taylor? How is things going? And, and how's the world look coming through this? It looks like we're coming on the other end of this COVID thing. How has it affected your world? And, 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 and are we looking good now? Are we kind of getting through this thing? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty good. So it's morning time here. So I've just eaten breakfast. Um, with the other end with this COVID thing, I mean, the only difference was instead of telling everyone how I am and telling them that I've just been training, I just tell them I haven't been. <laughs> That's the only difference. So I'm not very informative. I've just been at home trying to learn new tricks. Um, so I've gone from training like twice a day to maybe once every two. <laughs> Wow. Are you, are you doing any weight training or anything or just kind of just relaxing? Um, trying to rest as much as I can. I did try to do yoga. I'm not very good at it. Um, <laughs> we've got, we've got weights, um, at home. So have been dabbling in weights as well. Um, we have started slowly, um, training with people too. So I've been incorporating some wrestling and also some no gi as well. Yeah, it seems like we're starting to open up a little bit too. Um, uh, they, they've announced um, USA Wrestling has announced that um, we can we have some return to mat rules. We're in like phase three of that, mm -hmm. and then um, today USA Wrestling re released a return to competition document. I haven't had an opportunity to read through it yet, but, mm -hmm. but it, it looks like there's plans, and it looks like yeah. there's things happening. So fingers crossed. Same here. So we um. We start our non-contact training um, on Monday and our return to contact training starts on the 25th of June. And I think our competition, I think plans and stuff start at the same time as well. Very cool. Well, that's good. It's good to see not only in the States, but around the world, things are, we're starting to get a breath of fresh air here, you know? Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. definitely. Well, um, I know that um, you've been training in Australia for the last uh, few years. However, you are a New Zealander, born and bred. So um, talk about wrestling life in New Zealand. Talk about New Zealand wrestling and, and, uh, and where you came from and, and how it's, you know, what, what it's meant for you. Yeah, sure. Um, so I did start, I started when I was seven. Um, where I was living, Nelson, I moved from there with my, obviously my family moved. We moved to a place called Christchurch. So that, might be a bit more famous for the earthquake earthquakes that happened there um a few years ago um but i started wrestling there when i was seven i think that was around about the time when um women's wrestling had just been accepted into the olympics and so it was on the very uh beginning of becoming quite i guess quite important for women i guess yeah, it's a great thing. Um, so the 2000 was when I started. So, yeah, women's wrestling had just got into the Olympics and um, everyone was training in order to try and qualify. So I had just started. Um, my dad <laughs> my dad made me do it. Um, I hated it at first. <laughs> but, no, he was quite, he was very encouraging. <laughs> he was encouraging and I kept at it. Um, yeah. Nice. Uh, what, what, the, what, uh, they have, yeah. What yeah. has it meant for your confidence and, and, and what you've become in life? Um, I guess for me, I always know what I can and can't do. I guess with my body composition and body movements, I know what I can and can't do. Um, if I have never tried it, I'll try it regardless. If I hurt myself, it's okay. I'm a wrestler. I'll bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um and I think also um, incorporating that into all the other sports that I've done 
the transition has been very easy. And I think because of the adaptability, adaptability skill you get from wrestling, it's made it very easy. So I was very quite cool. good at sports. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what are those other sports that you've, um, that you've played? Mm-hmm. I know that you're kind of a multi, multi-athlete uh, or whatever they call it. But uh, <laughs> I was reading that you really um, enjoyed some other stuff too. Yeah, I did. Um, when I probably like, I guess 10 years ago, <laughs> I'm old now. Um, <laughs> um, Welcome to the club. I was, I was doing athletics. I was doing judo. I tr- uh, dabbled a little bit in sambo. I did some grappling, jujitsu, uh, rugby 15s, rugby 7s. Um, did some weight, competed in weightlifting as well. Um, I think that's about it. And obviously wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I play. Awesome. I also played kabaddi as well, the Indian sport, and that was really fun. So we went to Worlds for that with New Zealand, and we came third. So that was cool. Oh, well, that's neat. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I know, I know that um, I know that wrestling has obviously been part of your life for a long time, and uh, I know that you've had some friendships and experiences that wrestling has created for you that are real special to you. Uh, Talk about that, because I think young men and women around the world uh, need to hear, man, wrestling is, a, is life and it's a heck of a sport. And, and talk about what it's done for you in that direction. Yeah. I mean, so I have been involved in team sports and obviously um, individual sports. So my favorite has always been individual sports, such as wrestling. Um, I think the friendships that I've made, you know, You make them because the people that you encounter, we all know what each other are going. You know, we've had to cut weight. We've had to not eat what we want to eat. We've been told off by our coaches, even though, you know, we're a little bit moody. (laughs) We're dehydrated (laughs) and hungry, but yet we still strive. We still listen to our coaches regardless. And the results come from it. And I think because we can relate in that manner, it creates a bond that you can't get if you're just met, meeting in a supermarket or you're meeting through friends. So the friendships that I've created, you know, like one girl, I think she's from Bulgaria. I met her at the Youth Olympic Games in Singapore in 2010. And we saw each other 10 years later. And, you know, it didn't feel like rangers. It wasn't just a hello. It was a big hug. There was a few words that we could exchange in English because I don't know how well her English was, but, you know, it builds relationships, friendships like that. And I see mainly in women, not men so much. I like women better because <laughs> I can train my pen <laughs> properly. Yeah. You know, if um, I ever need anything, you know, like Carissa, when you spoke with Carissa, if I ever need anything from her, you know, she's there, she'll do it and vice versa. That's awesome. Yeah, she was... Um... Mm-hmm. She was awesome. Yeah, when I spoke to her, she was a, a pleasure. I, I could see um, how she could be a really good friend. That's awesome. So um, so I, I know that there was a special moment in your life, and this was kind of what made you decide, okay, re- wrestling is the one. Like, you know, I'm, I'm good at cricket or rugby or the whatever or this, but, but man, you made the Junior Olympics. And, and, and talk about that, because that was like that moment where you were like, okay, this, this, is, my, this is my thing. I, I'm going to do this. And uh, go ahead, tell us about it. Yeah, so um, my first proper international tournament was Singapore, the very first Olympic Games in 2010. Um, it was about a two-week wait before I competed, because wrestling starts with W, which is at the end of the alphabet for when they... <laughs> like to put the sports on but I mean during that time I did make friends with people from Ukraine from Turkey from Singapore itself um I think it was being around athletes in a village so like-minded people who had the same goals who were there to compete not purely just to you know show off but to get results um it was a good atmosphere to be around and it made you strive to do better to be better as well and competing um, because it was my first proper competition um, that my coach saw me at not just an Oceania tournament Um, and I think also the layout of the competition system was a little bit different so we had 10 people and it wasn't just wrestle 
if you lose, you get kicked out and you can get ripper charged. It was just wrestle everybody in your pool. So I got lots of wrestles, which sometimes I don't get so much now if I go to big tournaments. So it was really cool in that aspect. So we just got to go and you could test yourself as well. But coming back from that, when I got home, I missed being around like-minded people because my friends weren't so athletic. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to self I had to self motivate and that was a little bit hard when it was easier being in the village. So that sort of made me strive to wanna to attend camps, wanna attend big training competitions, etc., so that I could be around those people again. That's awesome. And um what what do you tell uh, little girls around the world right now that are maybe told oh, wrestling is not a girl sport or wrestling is not for you. And they have big dreams and, and people are trying to tell them, you know, go dance or something. Like these little girls are fighters and they want to be fighters. Uh, what would you tell them through, through the ups and downs of what wrestling does? Uh, why would you say, hey, stick in there, young lady? Um, just basically, if it's something that they want to do, who cares what anyone else thinks? I mean, it's a new day and age. Women can do just as much as men can, if not better, especially in a man's sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the only way you can, I, I think, is you have to train. Granted, you have to train like a man in order to beat a man, but also with everyone else who won't be training as much or as hard as you, you know, it's going to be very hard. Um, in order to create a little bit of motivation and inspiration. Um, I'm not so sure. I mean, how <laughs> I went keep, through it was I trained it, huh? hard and I trained, I trained hard and I trained long and I trained through the weekends and in the mornings. Um, I couldn't go to my friends until I trained. I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't go out again until I trained in the morning. So basically, if you want to be good, you've got to train to be the best. Um, yeah, but another thing, I, what, but I mean, look what wrestling did for you. How many, I mean, you don't have to be exact, but how many countries have you been to? How many beautiful places have you seen? How many yeah. amazing opportunities have you gotten? Like, I mean, it's, it's been a vehicle that's taken you everywhere, right? Oh, it's been an experience of a lifetime, for sure. I mean... If you want to be mediocre, stay home, listen to everybody. Or if you want to be great, unique, amazing, special, go off and do what you want to do. Go travel the world. I've been to around, yeah, close to 30 countries with wrestling. Wow. And I've made hundreds of friends, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds awesome. of friends, which are very good friends. Yeah, what which time? now if I want to go on holiday, I can go to my friends' houses over, say, like my, <laughs> my, my good friend, Ep, she's from Estonia. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, go stay with go you. There. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> so um before we get into my 10 questions, what um most memorable moment on the mat? Oh, um on the mat. I think it would be, um, it was my second Oceania tournament and there was one, one lady and she was, I think the face of Oceania. So I was about 17 or something and she was a lot older. So she'd been winning quite a few times for a long time. Like, um, and I think I finally got to wrestle her and I pinned her. <laughs> hey. I think it was very cool. Yeah. So I think after that, after I pinned her, um, I think I became a new favorite <laughs> as well. Nice, and, and so that was I, when you felt like you belonged, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I was a little bit scared because of the name that she created herself and how good everyone uh, had talked about her. She's a super lovely lady. So that humbleness that came with her uh, respect as well, you know, it was a little bit nerve wracking, but I wrestled her and I beat her <laughs> and I'm awesome. happy. Awesome. All right, you ready for this? <clears throat> All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Kina or white bait fritters? Yes. 
What was the first one? Uh, quina or white bait fritters? White face fritters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for the next one? Um, I can't see in here. Hang, yep. hang or savory pie? What's the first one? Uh, H A N G I. Hangi? Hangi? Yeah. Is that the Maori um, cooking thing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, and what was the second one? Savory pies. Oh, uh, <laughs> savory <laughs> pies. <laughs> All right, Pokey Pokey ice cream or Jaffa's? Pokey Pokey. <laughs> I did my research, right? Yeah. Crayfish or Pawa? P A U A. Pawa. Um, I think Pawa. <laughs> All right, roasted lamb or kiwi burger? Oh, roasted lamb. <laughs> okay, a Phoenix or an L and P? L and P. <laughs> Cable, Cable Bay, or Nelson Fun Park? Cable Bay. <laughs> rugby or cricket? Oh, rugby. <laughs> All right. The Winter Games, New Zealand, or the. Queenstown Marathon. Winter Olympics. All right. The workshop or Kombucha Brothers? <laughs> Kombucha. <laughs> All right. Did I make you feel like you're back home in New Zealand? Yeah, I'm all cured. <laughs> no one missing you're home. Cured. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I did my research for my 10 questions. If if not, awesome. I, I would have had to go back to, um, if I knew you were in Australia, I would have had to go back to um, Carissa's one. Finder. Yeah, yeah, because I had, um, she was like, wow, you really did your thing. Um, since you've been there three years, you probably know these all too. Um, <laughs> let's see. Look at all these, these wonderful wrestlers I've gotten to interview. I have it here. Aha, uh -huh. Carissa Holland. Savannah's or La Mono Water Hill? Oh God, no, don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this one. Sydney Aquarium or Taronga Zoo? Taronga Zoo. All right, let's see. Um, we know, of, oh, you're, you do um, freestyle. So do you prefer the tie or the overtime? Did you say time? Tie, T-I-E. Like, do you oh. like that it has to go to tie and criteria or do you think there should be an overtime? I've done a few overtimes before, so overtime. <laughs> Used to it. I don't know if there's a preference, it was forced on me. <laughs> Let's see what I have here. Oh, I've got grilled kangaroo or barbecue snags. Oh, grilled kangaroo. That's what she said too. She's like, oh, grilled kangaroo is incredible. Let's see. <laughs> Lamingtons or pavlova? Oh, pavlova. It's New Zealand's dessert. Australia ah, steal it. Yeah, they so steal it. I could have used it. these for you. Oh, <laughs> meat pies or barramundi? Uh, meat pie. <laughs> That's what she said. She's like, she's like, barramundi is good, but meat pies are meat pies. <laughs> she loves her some meat pies. Hey, man, I'm glad we kind of did this on the spur of the moment. This is awesome. I, I appreciate you. No, me time too. Out. It was really good. Yeah, I'm, thanks for taking time out. I know you're getting ready to go on and uh, train, so um, you have a, a great time doing that. And uh, man, I holler will. at all your girls, man. Tell them to come on. <laughs> I will. Thank for you so sure. much, Taylor. And uh, good take luck me, with take me in all of this, so I can share it. 
Yes, uh, I'll tag you um, on Facebook. I'm in uh, Ward Wrestling Live is my thing. So I'm going to tag you on my Facebook page mm -hmm. and, and then you can share it across the whole thing. Yeah, awesome. Hey, thank oh. you. Um, you have a new fan. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. I've appreciated it. Bye. Bye.